Let's do some auto repairing. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. For the record, Julius is doing that. Okay. No. <laughs> hey, birds, it's me, the Angel Man, here today to give you guys a Another video. Welcome back, birds, to another podcast, and I'm here with a good friend of mine, Julius Paul. Yes, I'm back, baby. How's it going, bud? I'm glad to be back. Actually, I do. I do miss being on this podcast. Yeah, it was fun, right? You haven't been here for like a little bit, huh? Yeah, no, yeah. It ha has been quite a while. The last time we did a podcast here actually was when um, you got you got all the members of Legit Studios here spilling all their tea in front of you. Yeah, in this room, and then I've obviously done other vids. Yeah, but uh, you know, over there in the living room. But uh, just as uh, something's kind of going on right now, where I, I can't do that right now in the living room. But so hopefully we'll get back to the to the sofa. But as of right now, though, I still wanted to do a podcast and just talk about things that are happening right now. You yeah, know? that's fair. That's make, fair. Make make conversation, right? So yeah. and I miss this guy honestly. Like <laughs> like like anytime we talk on the phone, I feel like it's like an hour long podcast. It is right. right? Yeah, yeah. 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 we right? we'll be talking for quite some time, and I'm just like, God, this will be great, like on camera, right? If we can like get this. Our together. last conversation, our last phone call was like an hour thirty long. All right, I was like, geez, it was gonna be. A podcast. It, it, it was during SummerSlam. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it was during SummerSlam too. So we're like, both wrestling fans, WWE fans, right? We were yeah. watching SummerSlam, and then you originally called me, right, to let, let me know to ask if I was watching. I was like, of course I'm watching. It's, it's wrestling. And then from now on, we just started talking about wrestling a little bit. Then we started talking about other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And and it delved further, further down into the rabbit hole, basically. Yeah, basically. And that's what this podcast is for. Yeah, you know, just to make some cool conversation, talk about the things here and there. But uh, real quick, let me just start pretty easy. How you been? I've been doing pretty good. Um, you know, grinding out work, mm -hmm. and school is about to start in about a week and a half from now. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, life life's pretty good. Still no girlfriends. Still no bitches. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Nothing near you. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't mean I'm not trying though. Unlike some person, some people. Hey, you know, like some. Not like that. Keep, uh, keep it going. I'm like, who are we talking? Okay, well, we'll, we'll get to that later. <laughs> you said this semester coming up real quickly, right? The last time we talked, uh, you were just finishing the first, that first school you were at before you transferred, right? No. Wait, wait. Uh, I don't know if you remember our last podcast, right? I was asking, like, what, what was it you were studying in school? What was it you were doing? Oh, and you uh, told me you did a few years. I'm right, let's run it back. I did five years of community college. Yeah, yeah, and that took way too long. But, but hey, uh, in your defense, it was because you were trying to figure out what you wanted to do, right? Yeah, but, yeah, basically. And then, like, I thought, oh, let's do computer science because, okay, it makes a lot of money, all right? And then I took two, you know, high-level <laughs> courses, and it's like, it's not for the faint of heart. Mm -hmm. It just isn't all right. You have to put in the work and everything and then I transferred to East Bay You know initially with a co with a comp sci major and then like okay, and that was like during COVID So I was like, okay, maybe I'll hold off for an entire year or right? let's take an entire gap year and then I came in 2021 late 2021 with you know going into a uh, comp major and then that's what I've been on ever since Right and, and now actually no, I was supposed to graduate <laughs> I was supposed to graduate in May with my degree. However, the school said no. You have a fall class. You have fall classes. You won't be graduating. And here's the real kicker too. All right, my school doesn't have a winter graduation. All right. So how do you think I feel right now? All right. I could have been a graduate by now. Okay. I could be flexing here with my bachelor's degree. But no, no, East Bay. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I had to let that go. So you don't have a ceremony. Not, not a winter ceremony. And you're graduating in the winter, right? No, I'm done. I'm done after the semester. Yeah. Uh, so this is your last semester coming up. Yes. I just finished. <laughs> but yeah, it's not about me right now. Uh, you know what? And, and it's good that it's your last semester too, because uh, you know when we were talking, you said that you were taking two classes over the summer, right? Yeah. And that you had, sadly, you dropped one. Actually, the professor dropped me. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, my mistake. The professor dropped you because you're behind a little bit. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. you went on that vacation cruise, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, did, I did. I did. So I went on a cruise and then all that kind of stuff. And then it kind of sent me back about one or two weeks, which which wasn't bad in the grand scheme of things. But then when you're taking two classes, it's kind of like double the effort. Yeah. So I'm, it's kind of like a blessing disguise because the, all the other professors dropped me. The, this other class that I was taking, like I decided to just hunger down, do my work, and then I escaped with a B. And then you originally would have taken two semesters, but then luckily I convinced you to do it in one. This upcoming I, one. I, yeah, you're yeah, you're right. Yeah. Because remember, you were telling me, oh, I'll just do the regular ones that I already set out to do, and I'll just do the last one next semester, and I'm like, just do it now so you can get it over with. Yeah. 
Yeah, so, yeah, so eventually I found the equivalent of that class um, still open um, for my school for this upcoming semester. So yeah, that's why I, I took I took that chance and now I'm up to five classes, 19 credits, and it feels like I want to kill myself. <laughs> I, 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 hey, my last semester, remember, uh, like my full semester, not my summer semester, yeah. right? My full semester, I took five classes. How many credits was that? Huh? How many credits was that? I think it was like 25. Jeez Louise. Yeah. All, all, all five credits each? Yeah. What? Because uh, uh, I had the option to do, to do it in the summer, but I just said, no, let me do it as soon as possible because so, so, I, I was so, getting so, burned so, yeah, out. You were, so you're like, you were properly busy in the in summer. In yeah, a I, I, it was full time. I couldn't, uh, I, I could still work, but I had to, I only worked like maybe once a week with my dad. Okay. You know, because cause it was school and it was my last semester and I'm trying to get out of there. Yeah, yeah. So I wanted to move on finally. It's about that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's valid, that's valid. That's valid. I, I just put it this way. The last semester is always going to be the most challenging. Yeah, you know, I feel I feel like it's gonna be like that for me too because and then like so like I'm like doing I'm like doing some pre planning on everything like okay instead of like going out I'll I'm thinking of doing uh, meal prep plans and everything at least save save me some money and time as well other things um, I've already got my school accommodation approved for my work so I'm done in four days like like last semester you know I work Sunday Tuesday Thursday and Friday now again because my main classes are on Monday and Wednesday. And then, like, if I have to say no, just say no, be firm with it, all that kind of stuff, all right? Right, right. And, I, that, that, and, that, and that's the thing that I need to learn in life, too, is, like, you know, be firm with your no, all right? You can't just be, like, half-assed, you know, say yes, and then, like, regret it later on. Yeah. I think it's safe to say you learned that one from experience. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah we, we talked about that one. So, with school, uh, do you already know what you're going to do after? That's the um that's the, that's the thing like with yeah most with most uh, graduates like you know you don't know what you want to do but then like I I also want to like look at doing inter internships right mm -hmm. there's a there's there's a whole load of internships that I could do with my major right and, like it's just one way for me to and, get into and, the door. And, and, just real quickly can you confirm what exactly is your major right now so for the record my major is communication and media studies mm -hmm. and that's for my bachelor's all right and one of my classes I'll be taking is. Uh, something that's near and dear to my heart, which is live TV and radio production. Yeah, and you, you, uh, every time you talk about that, you sound hella passionate. By the way, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Even now, uh, during the setup, like he was just like, hey, "Is the lighting okay? That like, are we running on CPU? Or, like, are, are, you know, like you got a good CPU? Are you going on sixty frames, thirty frames? I'm like, Julius, we're, we're working. <laughs> I'm like, I, I got this. Don't worry. Thank you though. Thank you. Like he's an expert. Like you, you know your stuff, right? Uh, yeah. Obviously, yeah. You know, because you clearly do. You did some of that, and then you're gonna you're learning that even now. You're doing more after. Mm -hmm. Do you know exactly where you want to work? That's the fun thing about this major. You don't know what you want to do in life mm. it's not it's not like you know a specialized career where i want, like say I'll, i graduate with a bachelor's of science in nursing right mm. then my, that's my path nursing all right and then i could go branch into other areas of nursing for example or say business all right i could go into a million different routes there right yeah it's, it's kind of the same thing like that other than school for for a moment right uh your youtube channel my friend it's dead it's yeah, it's just kind of you haven't been on there for it, quite some time. You know, you know what? Literally last night, I was looking through Hamilton animatics to see if there were like brand new ones, and I saw this one. I was like, uh, how good it the animation was for an animatic. I was like, oh wow, oh wow, not even 30 seconds in, I'm already hooked into this. Mm -hmm. And it make, makes me wonder, like, is it worth going back into it? Uh, because, like, honestly, like the Hamilton niche, uh, it's not as it was back in like say 2017 to 2019 that stretch right yeah but you know it's still popular it is it, it, as a musical right uh, hamilton's always gonna be popular it, it, i mean you know it was a hit for a reason yeah I, it, I, it could be considered a classic uh, later in the future exactly you know? exactly but like you know as a niche on youtube it's just like there's no point so I don't know, like, one of these things, like, I've had this idea in my head where, like, you know what, what if you just log as a college student, you know, just like, you, you know. You should do it. I would love to see that. Like, you know, it's just like, you know, your experiences as a final, as a final semester student, like, you know, going through all the highs, the lows, the mids, and everything, you know, I, get that full spectrum. Dude, that's what I did. Like, if you go on my channel, right, I, I even now, there's still some videos that I haven't uploaded yet. Yeah. Uh, of, of my college days uh, that I haven't uploaded yet during my college days, but I think it's just great to look back on if you were to vlog it. Yeah. When it comes down to Hamilton itself, I think you should go for it, man. Like, animatics. I mean, it's been years since you reacted to anything. There has to be new stuff out by now, I would assume. Yeah, but then, like, my only gripe is, like, Trump being hit by the YouTube content ID because of, especially the songs. Especially yeah. since it's copyrighted. Like, I'm going to be hit with that copyright claim. 
Did, didn't you deal with that before? I, I have dealt with it before. I know what, what I would do is like appeal it and then you, and then say that it's fair use because I'm, you know, reacting to it. I'm reacting to it. I'm, you know, it's constructive criticism. But then, yeah, of course. And, I, and, I did and, that too. But then, didn't you get permission though from the original people sometimes? Yeah, or? like even if I would get original, like permission from, from the creators, right? And they would say, and like more often than not, they would say yes, right? It's just, it's like the song being used. Ah, right, right. That 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 that, that would one. that would that would definitely get you. And then what I would do is like appeal it, and then like thirty days later, then that's when that video can be monetized. Mm -hmm. And even now, I'm still getting monetized. It's just like for pennies on a dollar, really. Right, right. But I mean, it's been years. And then you said you wanted to do a. For, I, I, okay, yeah, yeah. You did one video. <laughs> No. One video on Formula One and and and, and like you, you never touch it. Yeah, I know. I feel like Formula One as a niche is is starting to get saturated, especially with the with the popularity of the sports mm. and yeah. drive to survive and everything. And you know, I've I've seen it like you know YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Like you've got all these creators like trying to stake their claim in in that niche. And I feel like you know, grabbed it by the balls. Then yeah, I could I could probably made it successful, but no, I didn't because I could probably I could foresee that it's going to be saturated let me ask you uh about youtube in general because you haven't been on it for quite some time and now yes. you're thinking about it how do you think youtube is now it's just isn't what it used to be it's not yeah it, it, it really has yeah. and, and, and it's gotten harder for anyone these days to stand out without you know without being an e-girl or something or or like if you already have an established content like say you're doing gameplays on twitch or kick for example and then you want to I'm I'm hearing a lot of things about Kick though. It's people are saying Kick is kind of iffy. Yeah, no, it's still in its early phase. Yeah, but I hope that it actually competes with Twitch, and not unlike Mixer, which died a miserable death, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but but YouTube though, let me ask you this, because I already know which which content on YouTube you think is the most popular right now. Oh, that's difficult. That is difficult. Because to me. Is it depends on uh, I'm I'm between two types uh, shorts obviously shorts yes shorts or, is a real money maker or now podcasts yes you hit it right in the head podcasts and shorts because shorts people have short um, attention spans all right us all right I don't have a short attention span I, 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 I can I can I can watch a two hour video <laughs> I, I, I'll I'll only watch a two hour video if I'm like interested in it depends right. on the, it and, depends and on the discussion exactly yeah. right and, but but for 99 percent of the users right shorts is just an easy way to get 30 to 60 seconds of content but let, and, let, and, let, and i'm glad that youtube is finally monetizing shorts no true i mean but listen everywhere right, right? other than tiktok you know instagram even facebook yeah uh you know and then youtube a little while ago but let me ask don't you think it's kind of sad that people can't seem to hang on to something without something being there for them to look at. Like, have you ever seen those videos where somebody's talking about something like in a short or a reel or whatever, mm -hmm. and then they have like a gameplay of something underneath, and you're just like, why is that there? Like, just listen to the conversation, but then they have to have something there in order you, for them you, to pay you, attention. I, I, I swear, it's always those Reddit stories about like, you know, am I the asshole for blank? Yeah. Or you know, or anything that anything that you find on TikTok, all right? You know, you see subway service or Minecraft, right? And then it's like a Reddit story, all right? And it's usually those that are like it's interesting, but I kind of understand the the one that had to make it because like it's got to be interesting, all right? Um, uh, as a as a user and as like a as a hearer because you're hearing the story too, right? Yeah. Now you're not only seeing it like the, the like seeing this the story is just secondary but when you hear the story then that's when it becomes interesting right true true but still it's like don't you feel like you should give it a chance just to see where it's going i mean you know some people just see it for like a few seconds and then they just scroll yeah you, you know you know what i've always wondered like how would my hamilton animatics fare you know if i create shorts for it have I, you thought about it i have and, and like you know what it's not that bad of an idea to be honest you should do it i can see you doing it i mean the point is you're back on youtube you can get back to making some revenue on youtube you know that's not yeah, pennies it, on a dollar yes yeah, so, yes yeah, a new form of yes yeah, another form of revenue besides the existing videos that i have but you should keep doing i i can see people coming back to you and saying finally i remember you made like a video of a of an animatic after like a few months and then i read your comment section just to see what people would say because you know you were you just came back yeah and people were like oh you're back yay this and that like people miss your content even for me personally, I'm not a huge, huge fan of animatics, even though I do like Hamilton. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of like your vlogs. 
Like, like every once in a while, I like to go back and you know, relive well, memories. It's, it, it's, it's like it's engaging. Right? Yeah, it's, it's my for, it's my form of engagement to to my viewers. Basically. I'll be I'll be honest. Your vlogs aren't fancy, but I, the reason why they're cool for me is because I know you. Yeah. So for me, it's like let me see what Zulu is doing. I haven't seen I don't I don't see him that often as much. Let me see what's going on with him. And right. you know, oh okay, he's doing that. It's pretty cool. And then sometimes you're having fun with it. I remember the my, I think the best vlog in my opinion you did was when you were showing yourself at Ohlone. Uh, uh, you you were like going to Starbucks. You went to the school. Um, that girl that was at the door. Go ahead. Go go go. Ahead. <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh my gosh, I remember that. I forget how long it was, like 26 minutes long? Uh, no, I think I think it was like maybe 15 minutes. Maybe 15, 20 minutes. I don't think it was that long. That was a, that was a long video to edit. Right? I think... And I, I remember editing, the, editing that video on my crappy piece, on my crappy laptop, all right? I, hey, but that was when you were first starting out. Remember that old intro? The, the dun, 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 Remember that when your name spun? That old that, intro? That, 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 believe it or not, that was my first and only intro that, that I made from scratch. Right. Yeah. All the others, I, I We got. all did. And now these days, like, you don't even get an intro for your video. Because, like, the whole point of a YouTube video is to be, you know, grab the first 10 seconds. I think you could definitely make an intro if it's quick. Yeah, that, that's yeah, how my intros are. They're yeah, quick now. Yeah, if it, yeah, qu yeah, quick, straight to the point. All right. Be otherwise, you've lost that per that person within the first ten seconds. Yeah, and that's kind of all kind of works with YouTube these days, and like you know how people like create videos. Some 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 creators, if not most, they'll outright skip the intro altogether. Yeah. No, I I, I understand that, but to me, I find it a little boring because it's like you want to you want to give a small introduction, you know, of like what this is, like oh that's a show. Well, let me see what they're about instead of just getting into it, because then you're not no you're not gonna know you, what you're you, getting you into. You know, sometimes. What? the the way I see it is like the intro these days is like a transition into like your your proper introduction, all right, and then like say like your first five seconds, you need something that will catch that viewer's attention. And then transition with the intro, and then do your full intro. Right. That's what I'm seeing with you know with YouTube these days. Yeah, I know. I don't know, man. YouTube is just always. It's, it, it's always. I don't know. Like it's something new, especially with the regulations. Like it's always like a pain in the ass to deal with. You know. Yeah. 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 No, we we've, we've had our fair share of you know pain in the ass moments with YouTube. <sighs> That that's that's the life of a YouTuber, all right. You go through you go through the trials and tribulations of becoming a YouTuber in the hopes of, you know, making it big one day. Man. But but you know, I think that's why podcasts are popular because you don't have to really deal with it. It's just talking. Yeah, but, yeah, but then like, but then like the most popular form of podcast these days are video podcasts as well. It's not just audio; it's also video. No, of course. Yeah, I'm not talking about audio, but honestly, I I don't mind listening to audio if it's like in, if I'm like in the car or something. But I prefer video, obviously. Yeah, and, and yeah, and then it's always interesting to see people's perspectives on 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 you know topical subjects. Let, let me ask you this on on the subject of podcasts. Mm -hmm. in, in your perspective, right? And I and I'll give mine too, but since you're the guest, I'll let you go first. Uh, who do you think has the best podcast, Ryan? Oh, that's interesting. It's either The Diary of a CEO by Stephen Bartlett, who's currently a dragon in this British show called Dragon Sense, like Shark Tank. Okay. And impulsive. You really like Impulse? Well, oh, okay. So for me, Joe Rogan. Clearly, Joe Rogan. I, I, because right. what I like about Joe Rogan is that I don't like every single guest he brings on. Right. But he talks to a lot of smart people. Okay. And they have yeah. a lot of interesting conversations, especially when they when they get heated. Whenever they bring he he brings someone in, especially if it's somebody that I don't necessarily agree with, mm -hmm. then at times I'm like, okay, at least like they're having a conversation about it. It's not getting heated. Right. They're both bringing facts of whatever you know. They're, they're bringing in their perspective about this and that, and I like that. You know, right. Joe Rogan brings in a lot of people. Where another podcast, you know, sometimes people will just kiss ass because oh, you're on my podcast, great to have you here, do this and that sometimes. Yeah. And I don't like that. To me, I'm thinking so. Is this going to be a one sided conversation? Or are we gonna have like a conversation, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I like that. You mentioned impulsive. Yeah. You know they've been going on a bit of a downward, downward ever, spiral ever, lately. Yeah. Ever since uh, George left. Yeah. Yeah. You know why, right? Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I've heard. Oh my goodness. Like. I Did feel, you see the, the that episode? I've seen clips of it, and it, it was just it was just like that breaking point for George. I only saw the, the I only saw the first thirty minutes because that's really where that conversation took place about the religion was the first thirty minutes, and then after that they started talking about random crap. But I could tell nobody cared about that because of the first thirty minutes because mm -hmm. that's where they were talking about George and his religion and Logan going on him. Yeah. Let me ask you, in your personal opinion for what you've seen. What did you think about Logan and George during that 
You know, and what the, what Logan had to say to George about his belief and what George said. It was definitely out of pocket. It should have been a private matter, to be honest. Yeah. You know, there was no reason for, you know, for Logan to bring it up on the, po- on the podcast, especially ones that being viewed by, by millions of people on, the, yeah. on a weekly basis. You know, and that, that's going to irk some people. Yeah, you're going to get people's attention, but for all the wrong reasons, to be honest. Like, it should have never been, you know, broadcasted on YouTube or it should have been edited out, to be honest. Let me let me ask you this, and, I, and even though it's obvious, I want to hear from your, your perspective, right? What did you think of Logan's comments towards George and what he was saying about God and especially about the Holy Spirit? Jeez, oh my goodness. I mean, like, as a, as a listener, shit, it's that, that's that. I mean, I, I was taken aback, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Just like, just like, whoa, Logan, dude, you should not have said that. To me, this is how I saw it. When I first saw that, oh wow, I was bad. I got mad because you know I'm Catholic. Yeah, you're, you're Christian, right? Yeah. But the point is, we both believe in God and we both believe in Jesus, obviously, right. right? Right. And to me, other than the fact that it was incredibly disrespectful, it was more like, look, if you don't want to agree with it, that's fine. You know, but, God, but, but, God, God gave us free will for a reason, but that doesn't give you the right to be incredibly disrespectful. Because yeah. I'm like this. I bet you wouldn't say the same thing of any other figure, right? Yeah. But like for you to easily go like that on somebody because they're Christian, because you know, let's be real, it, it, Christianity is like the most hated religion right now. Yeah, because of the because of the God complex, basically. Exactly, and yet every other religion, people don't seem to have an, an issue with, right? Yeah. But yet, uh, to me, I'm thinking for whatever the reason. I mean, it says in the Bible, right? You know, you can kind of certain parts in the Bible where it's already predicting this stuff, right? Especially in Revelation. To me, I'm thinking if you don't agree with it, that's fine. You have the right to to not agree with it. It's your choice. But you, do, but you have to be respectful. Yeah. That's someone's belief, you know what I'm saying? And then what I didn't like was how George uh, literally explained at one part about the Holy Spirit and then Logan still went in on it and I was like, dude, like, what are you, you really think you're going to say that and not have no consequence? And every single person that I talked about that podcast said the same thing. I felt like Logan has just gotten super arrogant. He has. He's gotten super, ar- super arrogant because of his prime. He's gotten super arrogant because of the fact that he's in WWE now. He's yeah. super arrogant because of his podcast. He's just hella arrogant. And it's just a perfect example of when fame and money get to your head like that. Yeah, sometimes you don't look at the person that's literally in front of you and that, that's been through you, with you. Did you see the recent episode with, with him and Jake? I actually listened to that podcast while I was at work. And I was like, they were going in on him. Logan was fine bringing, you know, like, you know, bringing Jake's brand into it. But like, Jake, meanwhile, was like, no, I don't want any Prime. If you bring Prime, you're going to get, you're going to get escorted out of the building. All that kind of stuff. I was like, yo. But, but, it's, it, but he even explained it wasn't necessarily him. It was the brand that he was with. The brand yeah. asked him, hey, like, we don't want a competing competitor yeah. to 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 come in here and promote their shit because we're promoting ours. It's all over the place. Why would we allow that? Me, me, meanwhile, JJ and Misfits they're fine promoting all like all his prime, prime all any brand that can bring value to Misfits, all that kind of stuff. Even in their upcoming fight, JJ and Fury, right? Yeah. So JJ and Fury, and then Logan and the pussy Dylan Dennis. Actually, <laughs> he, he backed out. Actually, did you hear about that? So he did back out? Yeah, he actually back. I think he. I think he's close to backing out. If, or I think he has backed out. Accord, according to JJ, he talks hella shit about all these guys, and he backs out every time for some reason. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. And like you know, you saw K- and then like if you saw Casey's tweet about you know calling about you know Dylan being a pussy. Yeah, he is. <laughs> when it comes down to that that recent episode with Logan and Jake, yeah, he, he basically did it again. Instead of this time with George, it was with religion. Here with Jake, it was about the fact that I'm better than you, and it was like why uh th- that's kind of like the wrong thing to say to be honest like about you know i'm better like i'm better than you no no but that's what he said for uh first off he came at jake he came at jake and then jake was like what are you talking about he was like well you took the fight from under me the fight was yours to begin with he was like yeah but i'm just trying to let you know i'm better than you though what makes you think you're better well because i fought floyd mayweather yeah 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 he, he, yeah, he did say yeah he did say that he that's, did all, say that's all that's yeah. all he was doing was just i'm better than you why well because i did this and that and i feel like i haven't had enough time to shine and good for jake on defending himself because he was like you can't just do something stay low because you're doing something else and then come back and be like yo what the fuck like remember i'm the greatest like i i, I was like thank you like yeah that's true you can't you you can't just out of nowhere come back and act like you're all that just because you're you're claiming it prove it prove I, it yeah i i know i know but then like i feel like you know logan logan especially with recent exploits in the duty and prime and everything i think you can make an argument for that right but that, okay, but, no, but, but, no, 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 but, 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 but no, 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 that's business. That's business. You, you may know what you're doing and you're very successful and you win when it comes to business. I'll give you that. Yeah. But this is boxing. We're talking uh, uh, for, about. Uh, for, yeah, for boxing, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. You can make an argument that Jake is better. Right, because he's he's he more, boxing on a more, on a much more consistent basis compared to well, Logan. no, no, Jake is better 
because he's more active. Yeah, exactly. Logan, you're right. he's active, but he's in wrestling, and that's completely different, right? Yeah. Especially because let's be real. As much as we love wrestling, it is scripted, right? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah it is. But, but the, the stunts are real. Yeah, exactly. You know, I but, mean, like, when when they're hurt, they're hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. Like, yeah, it's a predetermined finish, all right. But whatever they do in the ring, they leave it all on the in the ring, all right. Yeah. They they, they get hurt. Whatever happens to them can affect their career going forward. All mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, all right. So, yeah, wrestling may be fake. But, you know, the outcome... I'll say this, fake to an extent. Fake to an extent, yeah, you're right. To but, an extent, because it's not all fake. It's not. It's entertainment. Yeah, exactly. You know? and, and, the, and again, the stunts, when they're hurt, they're hurt. Yeah. You can't fake that. Yeah you're, yeah, you're right. But with boxing, though, yeah, if you if you do get knocked out, like... You're out. You're, 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 you're <laughs> Concussion, done. sometimes brain damage, depending if it's in the back of the head or something like that. Yeah, exactly. You know? exactly. Logan's better as a business person. Yeah. Jake is better as a boxer, all right? And even a business person, I think, too, because, you know, during their discussion, I paid attention to that part of the discussion. You know, uh, Jake was, like, trying to say, uh, but, uh, I don't know if you got to the part where they were talking about numbers. Yeah. Where Logan was like, I bring in numbers. And then uh, uh, Jake was trying to tell him, yeah, you bring in some numbers. He was like, but remember, that fight with Floyd Mayweather, that was Floyd Mayweather. With KSI, part of that was KSI. Mm. It was like, you didn't do the full thing. He was like, with me, I have a promotion company. I have this, I have that. You know, my team reached out to this. And then they started talking about the fact that Jake was like, I hate, you know, people don't like working with your team. Mm -hmm. And then Logan's like, I don't like working with your team. But I'm thinking, no, Jake's right on that one. I agree with Jake that people don't like working with Logan because of his reputation right now. Yeah. It makes sense. I mean, George, Crypto. His uh, recent exploits in the past haven't exactly shined the best light of Logan, honestly. And people got even more mad because uh, you obviously found out that he got engaged, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then he's just talking about it, but people don't give a shit. <laughs> I'll be honest. I can't. People are like, well, I don't know why he keeps bragging about his, his fiance. Nobody likes her. <laughs> no, people. I keep hearing people talk about that. And I was like, what did she do? And then I think it was Dylan Dallas. He posted a tweet mm -hmm. and he was like, yo, Logan, here's your girl with Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> And Leonardo's like this with his arm over her. And I was like, yo. And so now people are kind of calling her a bit of a gold digger. Like, yo, I don't think, like, I think she's with him clearly for the money. Because if she went from one high celebrity like Leonardo, right? To, to Logan. That, that, to that, Logan. That, that's a downgrade. <laughs> I mean, an A-list an a -list celebrity versus what? A, a pro wrestler, a, a part-time pro, pro wrestler YouTuber, and... business... Uh, trying. Uh, maybe, maybe, okay, maybe, okay. Let's be nice. A business person, all right? Yeah. A YouTube business person. Yeah. Let's be nice. Yeah. yeah. I would say boxer, but no. It's, it's like it's like it's like downgrading from the fifteen from the fourteen pro to a four. But it, it's not this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that's gonna be. That's gonna be. That's gonna be. That's gonna be. Uh, but everybody this way. It's like when it comes down to to her. She she was in one of his episodes, right? Yeah. And yeah. she mentioned that Logan brought a, a bought a private jet. Yeah. I I heard that. I heard that could be anywhere from like two million to like two hundred mil. Yeah. It's a private jet, and then people were saying, you know, for the crypto. I could be wrong about this because I haven't heard about it in a little while. But they said that uh, Logan could have easily paid all that all that money back because the total was like around two million dollars in crypto. That's what I heard. And people are saying Logan could easily pay that. He hasn't done anything about it, but yet his girlfriend's like, I don't want to just brag, but you know, you did just buy a you know a PJ, and then people are like, what? You know, a private jet? Yeah. And I was like, so you could buy a, you could buy a private jet, but you can't pay back these people their money that you could just been got that over with. I'm like, yo. So now he's look, he's looking even more bad, and I say that yeah. because of that guy Coffeezilla, the yeah. one that did that three series. Yeah, he's, yeah, he, he went in. He went in, and then Logan when he did that response video, it, it, uh, it, was, it was it was it was like premature and short sighted on his side. It was because of the fact that he blamed everybody besides himself. Yeah, you right. know he did it, he did it, he did it. And I'm just here, and then people are like, "Well, you look more stupid now because you're the one that put those people together to do that." So it's like, you have blame in this. So, so, so it's like, oh shit, yeah, I kind of, yeah, yeah, it was short sighted on my behalf. I'm sorry, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'll just say this: Logan hasn't done anything to me. I don't really hate him or nothing like that. But I do. I will say I don't like his personality now. He changed a bit, you know. He really has, because yeah. you know, to me, it got to a point where I was like, I actually used to kind of like like him because I really admired his business perspective, right? Yeah. He, he's successful. You can you can admire that, like, yeah. especially at such a young age. Yeah. But then down along, uh, he started becoming so arrogant, and I was like, yo, dude, like, chill. You know, like, calm down, I get yeah. it, you know, you're famous, you got this and that, but take it, take it easy, and he keeps going. Yeah, and yeah, and then, and then, like, he's also got this, and then, like, you know, you really can't shake his reputation from, you know, obviously the whole Japan thing. Yeah, but honestly, this, despite that, right, I, I think uh, after that happened, in my opinion, I think Logan did calm down. 
yeah. clearly, right? Yeah, and he he's been a little. I think at that point he got more respectful, and then time has passed on, um, right? Like you yeah. can't you can't hold a grudge forever on something that happened a while ago. You know, mm -hmm. clearly everybody railed on him. People went after him. Yeah. He went off YouTube for quite some time. Yeah. He, he apologized numerous times, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time has passed. It's been years. Yeah. But right. now he's done new shit. <laughs> you know, just like we're back to square one, Logan. Oh my God, dude. His mouth keeps getting him in trouble. You it know. Does. I want to hear from from his uh, P, from his PR person, his um, his assistant. I'm like, damn it, damn it, Logan, you could just shut your mouth there. Yeah, you could just like left it there and then like you know just move on to your businesses. But no, you keep getting yourself into trouble. And then he keeps complaining that he doesn't like the backlash. But I'm like, well then stop saying things you know you shouldn't be saying stop being so rude i'm like you keep kind and I'm, I'm gonna be real you keep causing that to yourself yeah that's, yeah no one fault but yours to be and, honest. and then i heard somebody one time say yeah but you know jake kind of does that too and i'm like that's different jake's a boxer boxers talk shit all the time i mean some people haven't really let let go of, like the whole team 10 thing huh. really maybe because i haven't heard about them in a while it's been quite some time yeah i mean like i think i mean i'm glad he moved away from from the from the whole team 10. they all did <laughs> they all did yeah they all yeah they all did but then like at his peak, like 2017, 2018, 2019, yeah, that was there. Yeah, you know, yeah, Jake was a handful back then, right? When he first started out with 210, he got, he was like hella crazy, starting fires, and if I remember correctly. Yeah, like, he, stuff like, his own neighborhood hated him too, because yeah. he was just too much. Who would have thought from, from Vine to Disney to Team 10 to being a pro boxer? Right. The, pro, the life of Jake Paul. Did you hear that he, that uh, originally he was trying to go for that 10 and 0 streak and he was going to retire from boxing because he wanted to do NFL? Yeah, and, yeah, and then he, and, <laughs> he lost. Fury. What did you think of? Did you see the fight? Um. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I did. What did you think of the Tom, uh, the Jake versus Tommy fight? I really didn't think much about it except like the loss. I think it was pretty cool. I think Jake definitely held his own. He got in a few good punches at uh, at Tommy, especially but, at one point when he went down, like in the last round. I was like, oh. I was like, oh, there you go. But, 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 but it was clear that Fury was the better boxer. He had more power, dude. Like, he's slow in speed, because yeah. he's, he's built, right? He's a, Tommy's a big dude. But, like, in power, he, I could tell he was giving Jake a hard time. I could, I could, you could see in his face, Jake at times was like, huh. you know what his face? I was like, poor Jake, I could tell those you, punches you, are you know, now, now make me wonder, will, will, will JJ survive um, Fury? That's the thing. Dude, I'll I don't give a shit about him and Fury. I'm like, fight Jake already. Like, you're talking so much shit, and then at one point, Jake was even like, I'll fight you for free. You're the A-side, you're whatever. And then there's just more excuses. And I'm like, just fight him already. You're talking to you. Look, he, at first, I, I got JJ at where he was like, I want to just get the ring rust off. And I was like, okay, I get that. You want a few warm-ups. Yeah. I, I get that. Cool. I, I, I would probably do the same thing if I was a boxer, right? Yeah. And then you fought more people. And you even fought that uh, that that guy you elbowed, <laughs> you know, but you still won. Or uh, if, if, it, if it didn't count, actually, it didn't yeah, count. It, yeah, it, it didn't count. Yeah. But like, yeah, but even before, like, he still fought quite a few people already. Now I'm thinking, I think you got the ring rust on, you know, off now. I think you can, you can, you two can fight at this point. Just see what happens. I think what's gonna happen is he'll fight Fury first, and then whatever happens, he'll fight Jake. No, I don't think he will. And the reason why is because he said that he wants to fight Tommy and beat him because he says that if he beats Tommy, there's no reason for him to fight Jake because he he beat the guy that he wanted to beat. Oh, that, okay, that makes sense. And to me, I'm like, that, that's not the point, though. We want to see you fight Jake, because there's tension with y'all. Where does Tommy come into this? I was okay. like, come on. You know, that makes me wonder, like, with, with Logan and Nina's wedding, right? Is JJ, is JJ invited? What do you mean? To Logan's wedding. I would assume. I mean, they're business partners. Yeah, they're yeah, clearly yeah. good uh, friends. Uh, okay, okay, let's assume that JJ is invited, all right? Obviously, Jake's going to be there. Right, Opposite gonna... sides of the room. <laughs> <laughs> Could I, be. I, I bet there's gonna be like a special measure for, for both of us. Listen, you two, all right? Don't get in each other's face on my special day, please. I'm begging you, all right? That's the one thing I, I'll ask from both of you, all right? You guys can have your beef outside of this wedding. I, I doubt they're going to do something at Logan's wedding. I, I, it could be the after party that I'm thinking. Oh, God. You know? Oh, I mean, let's, let's be real, oh. right? It could be. But, hey, you know what? Now putting Logan and Jake on the side, yeah. right? Boxing in general. What do you think of YouTube boxing as it is now? It's it, clearly grown. It's clearly grown, but I feel like it's run its course. Do you think so? Yeah. Uh, here's the thing though, it's uh, I agree with you to an extent because I still find boxing, I am a boxing fan. Yeah, like, I do think boxing gets entertaining. I just hate the way how some YouTubers 
overdo it when it comes down to like the build up, you know. I mean, I mean that that's kind of the point of like a whole of promoting boxing matches, like well, no, no. each other's face. No, but it, it's not that part. It's not the talking smack. It's the uh, boxing event that happened with these, well, a little while ago with these two girls. Wade was there, that uh, announcer guy. Mm -hmm. What? Well, okay. And yeah. I forgot who, but it was like these. I guess the two girls, this British girl and another girl, mm -hmm. and then they kept talking hella shit off the ring when they were just about to box and then one of them picked up the girl and threw her on the table and then I was like okay and then the boxing match like was was called off and then she got called to a stretch and I was like did that really hurt did, you just got thrown on a table uh, why are you on a stretcher <laughs> I'm like did, did you smack your head did you and then she made a video saying oh that she had a concussion and the reason that happened was because she smacked her right before they were going into the ring like the day of the fight oh they were just about to go in there one of them was in the ring then the girl started talking to Wade there uh she was talking shit the girl heard her came down here and then she was like what is your problem we're about to fight right now just shut your mouth and let's get ready to fight and then she kept talking Talking hella shit, then she smacked her, and that's when the other girl picked her up and then threw her on the freaking table. Oh! And then the fight got called off, and I was like, "You see, in boxing, you you save it for the match. You don't Exa do that before." Exactly. Exactly. That sounds like something you do in a WWE. Right? Exactly. Like, 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 like during like, a promo like, or something. Like, like, like before your match goes on. All right. If you go up to the person in the locker room all right you talk some more shit and then and then you start beating the fuck out of each other yeah all right and so much so that, that you put one guy's head through a toilet all right that's the equivalent <laughs> of that yeah i just I, like i said it's just uh, it's, some people make it a little cringy yeah well, well i mean okay but other boxers like say salt poppy for example no no right? i like salt poppy he's he he's dude he's he only lost one fight now but but overall uh, i rate him highly as a boxer yeah totally him and slim even him and slim yeah I, I think they're gonna fight right so poppy versus slim i forgot i, I know i haven't i, I haven't got track but, of the minute but, and then king kenny he's also highly rated every single time he freaking wins a fight is always through controversy yeah, that's the only thing. Yeah, he's he's rated, but then like you know, controversy somehow follows. He fought Faze. I was like, Faze clearly won that fight. And he fought against Faze Sensei, and I was like, Faze Sensei won that fight, but no, he won. And I was like, what? Faze Sensei won. I was like, <laughs> there, uh, there's some match fixing going on. Yeah, and then that, now that, King Kenny's all so, 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 Somehow, big somehow Beta Squad Nico Amalan is like involved <laughs> with it. <laughs> yep. I, I could. I don't. Well, I don't know. One more thing about the YouTube boxing before we go on to something next. Right. Out of all the matches that have taken place, from from your perspective, and I'll give you mine, which do, do you think was the best YouTube boxing match? Oh, that is difficult. Right? There's, there's been a lot. Oh my goodness. S some clearly better than others, and some not really too great. Logan KSA 2. I was about to say that, yeah, because uh, it was... It was tension there. I liked it. It was a huge thing. And, and they brought in the hype, which was needed for the match. Yeah, like a tie, really. And then they hyped it up like no ties this time. Let me ask you, do you think Logan won that fight? Because remember that two-point deduction? Yeah, it was very close. What about the first match? I think Logan won the first match. I think, yeah. Shit, I, I, for, I forgot about the first match. Hold the on. first match was a tie. Yeah, I know, and the first match was a tie, but... But I think, I'll give Logan, I think he won the first one. I, I, I'm, I'm a bit biased to KSI. All right. Why? Why? Okay. As a as a YouTuber, okay. Yeah, I've I've watched him since like 2012. Uh huh. So holy. Fuck. Oh. I didn't watch him that early. I I, oh, okay. I started watching him like maybe no, 2016. No, I, no, I, I started watching him like you know when he was still making FIFA videos and everything. Uh huh. And then you know when they created the Sidemen and then you know you know doing Sidemen Sundays. That's kind of you know went from there. All that kind of stuff. So I have a, I have an inherent bias towards KSI and the and the Sidemen. Mm -hmm. But but the second match though, yeah. It was a good match, it really was. It was a really good match, and like I'm glad that it's still one of the best YouTube boxing events. Yeah, even though there were just some weird things about it, like uh, KSI's form, he kept like over swinging, yeah, 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 and then yeah. Logan was I, like, I'm sick. Yeah, no, KSI's form, I still, he, I still think he needs to work on that, to be honest. Even now? Yeah. Because like, if you compare him to even his own brother, Deji, De Deji, ha Deji has a better form Yeah. than JJ. Dude, isn't it? Wouldn't it be crazy if Deji does way better than KSI in boxing? Even though he had such a rough start. Yeah. Right. But then his first win kind of gave him that confidence to, you know, keep improving himself. Oh, of course. Against, especially against uh, uh, Fuzi too, right? Yeah, Fuzi. Yeah. Yeah, like because he was ripped. Fuji 2 was ripped. I was like, Fuji's gonna win, man. Like, look at this figure. Like, he damn, like he's putting in work. Dude. But then when they started fighting, Deji just started going in on him, and I was like, yo, oh. I'm like, oh shit, Deji's winning. What the fuck? I, I I think that's the biggest comeback in sport in YouTube boxing. Yeah, I, I can definitely see that. That that and then um, Bineda Bineda 
co- like coming back after after losing to JJ, uh-huh. right? Like, cause his first fight with JJ, he was it was an absolute stinker. Like, he, like he kept getting hurt, or like he kept like you know telling the referee like, hey, let's stop the thing for a little bit. I'll keep going. Dude, Panetta just kept talking about hits in the head that never happened, and that was just like. Box. I was like, nothing happened. <laughs> and then his second fight, right? He was a, he was a surprise opponent for someone. Let me ask you this, actually. This is a good question. I, I just thought about this. Uh, so KSI's new thing about tag team boxing. I heard about that. I don't know about anyone else. I think that's stupid. I don't I don't see how that works. Tag team boxing. Who's he going up against? Huh? Logan no. Logan and JJ. No. Uh, no Logan, uh, Logan, Logan, Pineda Logan. and that white kid that was talking smack about JJ. You know, he invited him over. Him, uh, it was Pineda and that white kid against two other boxers. I forgot who the opponents were. But that sounds stupid. It is. It is stupid. He got held defensive when people were talking smack about the tag team. But I'm like, well, get, it's boxing. I've never heard tag team in boxing before. This isn't wrestling. <laughs> it's boxing. Like, how does how would that even work? Do you tag them out or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, like if like if you're if you're so fucked up against one of your opponents, like do you do you go to your corner and let tag them? In? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. In wrestling. Exactly. That's why I'm just like, how does that? And you're wearing gloves, <laughs> so like, tap the glove. Like, how about that work? Yeah. I don't. I don't understand that. And then JJ got hella backlash for that. He got hella offensive. Yeah. I, I think it's a new type of thing that that's going to work. It just doesn't make sense in my head at all. Honestly, I don't, I don't like it. You can't make. You can't mix boxing and wrestling. So yeah. So. Putting boxing aside, let's finally. talk about wrestling. Uh, speaking of wrestling, what, where did this come from? My cousin. Oh, my cousin Gay. Shout out to Gamer Athletics. Yeah, he gave me that. It's, oh, it's part of the ring that was at WrestleMania. This is part of the ring. Yeah. Th- this thing. Yeah. Whoa. I guess they cut it up and they, you know, I, I didn't know you could. They could even sell that. I was like, what is this? And then my cousin told me what it was, and I was like, oh. Yo. I that- wonder if he has one. Probably, but. I- I'll be honest. The 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 stage setup for WrestleMania this year was was fantastic it was i loved it dude the hollywood theme the red carpet uh even the promotions i liked you know oh my goodness yeah and then even like the celebrities that came in you know snoop dogg i had no idea snoop dogg was gonna be there snoop, snoop dogg lil uzi for, he, yeah, he yeah, came for, in for, for, the, for the tag team yeah yeah for the for the main event you know I, even i was like who the fuck is that and then when it was little uzi for i was like oh sh- what he's here but it's los angeles so I like i should have known yeah a shitload, of, a shitload of celebrities um some other people that I didn't know, there was a country singer there. Some, some from, the, from the Niners. It was, he, I think, yeah, George Kittle. Yeah. George Kittle, like, there were, night too. There were other people, that, uh, celebrities did that on the sideline. Like, I met um, Adam, uh, that Instagram guy that does the reels. Adam and uh, his brother, uh, Amar. Oh. You know, the short guy and, uh, and his cousin, Adam. A- An- oh, Anwar? Yeah, Anwar. Oh, no way, he was there? He was in my vlog. Oh, shit. Okay. Maybe, maybe I may have forgotten. All right. Did you watch it? No. I'm what sorry. the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. He was in there. We were, me and my mom, like, we we just uh, took a, a lift from the hotel going over there, and we were in the corner, and then this guy was selling shirts, and then I'm right here looking, like, I wanted to vlog the stadium from a distance. I was like, yeah, look, here's the 18, no, well, not the, uh, the, the stadium. So, so far stadium. So far yeah. stadium, thank you. Uh, onto my right, I don't know where, uh, Anwar just walked with, like, I think, like, his friend or a bodyguard. He uh-huh. just came up to the sign. I was like, <laughs> Right, and I was like, "That's uh, the, the Instagram guy," and I got so excited, I forgot his name. I was like, "Oh, he's uh, it, um, hey, I like your work." <laughs> and he looked at me, and he was like, "Oh, thanks, man." He was like, "Thanks," <laughs> and I was just like, "Yeah." I mean, I was Cora, but I was, he was just like, "Yeah." It was like, "Thank you," and then he kept looking at me. And my mom was like, "I think he was waiting for you to ask for like a picture." I was like, "I wanted to, but I didn't want to be annoying." I, I'm not gonna lie, I want to be respectful, so I just wanted to be, oh, "Hey, like, oh, I respect what you do." Oh, oh, that's valid. That's valid. That's valid. And then the second day, we were leaving day two. Like, oh. it, it was like ten o'clock, and we yeah. were we were gonna walk back. Everybody was leaving and I'm walking and I saw uh Edmar was there again taking pictures with another guy and I was getting ready to like to be like hey can I get a picture because I wanted pictures this time but then on my right right I looked to my right and it was his cousin Adam he was right next to me and I was like ma ma and then she wouldn't listen to me I just went I just ran after him across the street and then I was like excuse me I was like are you Adam he was like yeah and I was like I oh my dude can I get a can I, I'm sorry can I get a, a picture with you he was like totally I was like ma 
<laughs> and I got, it, I got it. I got it at the picture. I think I uploaded it. A, a picture on my Instagram, and I even got it as a. Uh, I even got it as a as a small quick vlog. Uh huh. Yeah, it's on it's on one of my videos. Yo, they that, won in two. Yo, that's fantastic. That was crazy. I was like, yo, what the fuck? I was like, that's so cool. It, like, it's, it's actually quite cool seeing like you know celebrities like you know mingling with the com with the common people, right? Especially at the t at the Taylor Swift concert, right? My friend went there, and I knew a few other. My my cousin went there too. Yeah. Yeah, the one in Santa Clara, right? Yep. Apparently, Mark Zuckerberg was there. He was? Yeah. Taylor's but, Tay Tay? Yeah. He was there. A huge Taylor Swift fan? No, actually no, I'm not. You're not? I'm not. I'm really? Not. I'm, I, I really am not. You sound, I mean, I'm not really either, but, but, I'm just, but you sound but, like it. But, but like when you think of it in the business aspect, all right, it's bringing built in millions and millions of revenue to every city that she goes to. And... Do you think she's too popular? I think she's so overrated. You know? Yeah. In, in, in some way. I'm sorry, Swifties. Don't come after me, all right? Look, you can like Taylor Swift. It's fine. I, I'll, I'll just be real. Like, Taylor Swift isn't really a guy thing. You know what I mean? Like, I, I saw a funny video where a guy went to a Taylor Swift concert, and he was like, benefits of being a guy. He shows the guy. He shows the guy's rest, restroom. Hella empty. People were quickly going in and out. Hella empty. Shows the women's. A fat-ass line all the way <laughs> out, to the, out to the bathroom. I was like, damn. Right. Like, whoo. That was crazy. Oh my god. But I mean, yeah, tell us it's kinda you know, bitch sold her soul. So um, um, but 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 she but she's making bank. She's and and then and then she recently announced that she's you know dropping another album of like nineteen eighty nine. A, a well like Taylor Swift's version of nineteen eighty nine. Hmm. So Let me ask, who's your favorite artist right now? That's hard to say. Uh, actually I don't really have a favorite artist to be honest. Really? Yeah. Mainly be mainly because like I I don't really keep up with you know with you know, musical trends these days. I get it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm more, I'm more into podcasts to be honest. Yeah, discussions, right? Yeah. Exactly. People listen to conversations more nowadays than music. Am I being honest? Yeah. So, Smosh. Oh my gosh! Yeah, they're back. They're back. They're what, finally what, back. What are your thoughts on that? My first thoughts were, holy shit, they're actually back. Anthony is back. I saw your post. You were you were like in capital letters. They're back. Smosh is back, and I was like, yep. He found out. And then Smosh bought the rights to, to yeah they bought to, they bought the property back to yeah the, it's now solely independent good thankfully all right because for if, if i'm not mistaken like they were they were part of defy media right and then that went bankrupt dude that. the fight everybody was talking about the fine media like they were shady hella shady yeah and very restrictive yeah and, and then when the five media went bankrupt um red and link were kind enough to buy them buy them out right you know save them and you know every and everyone that that was working there Great, but it just didn't feel the same, you know, didn't. to be honest. Right? And then, and then when Smosh went completely independent again, when they brought Anthony back again, yeah, it feels if you know, it feels like two thousand six all over again. But at the same time, you know, it's, it's a new era. So. I was just about to say that. Let me ask: Have you seen all the new videos now? I think that they've done like maybe three, two, two or three, because like they drop bi-weekly. Okay, so the demon one, there was the one where they kept copying each other. Yeah, I watched. And that. then there was the. Music like a headphone music. I haven't watched that yet though. I saw I saw that one like a little while ago, and then I saw the newest one today. So the ones you have seen, what do you think of them? It's nostalgic, because mm -hmm. like it brings you back to a simpler time when you know, when YouTube was simple. People had people had fun. People had fun making yeah. videos, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and people enjoyed watching them. These days, it feels feels like you know with every content that you're watching on YouTube, it feels kind of a chore because you have a lot of because you have a lot of people that you're subscribed to. Yeah, and you have a lot of content that you want to go through. All right, I mean, like my subscription list is like two hundred feet, two hundred deep. That right. long, really? Yeah, and I, and I'll and like on any, any given week, I'll probably watch about twenty videos from them. So like a tenth. When it comes down to Smosh, like, I'll be honest, I think it's fine. Yeah. Uh, with them being back together, I think it started pretty good, but then their other videos to me were kind of. Mm. It, it's just, I don't know. People. It's not the same vibe. People, people are buying into that nostalgia act. So I'm gonna say this. I think the reason why it's not the same, in my opinion, is just because it's been quite some time since they were together. Yeah. You know. And did did you see the podcast that Anthony did with with Ian? I may have seen clips of it, but I haven't watched the full full bit of it. They talked a lot about that. And at one point, Ian even mentioned that he was kind of mad at Anthony. Yeah. For, for yeah, the, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. Th that he left. And then he said that then he realized, oh, that he did pretty good because he could tell Anthony was trying to figure out where, where to put his footing in, right? Like, yeah. he was really trying to figure out what to do and then podcasts in a way. Like, you know, discussions or interviews or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And then he said that he reached out to 
and uh to anthony i believe a few times when he was like at, at a few million mm -hmm. and he was just like hey like we should collab now you know you're doing pretty good on your own you know we're still smosh like let's do something right and then he was upset because anthony was like no i don't i don't want to i just can't go back no uh, and uh, and he didn't express himself and uh, and to me i'm thinking I, I i know for a fact that there was like a there was like an angry letter that either anthony or ian did that he that they read out loud on camera oh did they yeah there was Oh wow, I didn't know that. Actually, yeah, I need to watch that still, but like I know that I know for a fact that there was. Right, right. Let me ask you, after Anthony left, Smosh, yeah. how do you think how do you think Smosh was even though it kept going? I mean like it, it was just a formal show of itself, I will be honest. Like, you know what it, it remains to be seen where Michael's on the statue act is gonna go. I mean, huh? No, I mean like alright, Michael, our buddy, right? Oh god, uh-huh. Like, you know, whether you know if <laughs> It'll like inspire him to keep to you know improve his content. Why Smosh though? Because that's the one thing that 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 he that he was inspired by in the first place to make videos. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I think he did, he mentioned that in the podcast. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what? Well, me and Michael actually did talk about that. Right. And Michael did tell me that um, it's him. <laughs> like Michael's excited, but even he had the same concern I did, where he was like, "I'm excited that they're back, but I feel like it's just not going to be the same because it it, it's been quite some time." It, it, it really hasn't been the same, and I don't think it will ever be. But like yeah. the fact that the two are together, I mean, like you know, for a time, yes, it may be good. It may be good and all that kind of stuff. But like in long term, you know, I'm not too sure to be honest. Right. I think Smosh will be fine. Uh, they, they, now that they they're together, but I think they have to bring the vibe back. Cause yeah. it's kind of they, they you can tell they're very rusty, and yeah, I think that, I think these days they kind of have to cater to more of an adult audience because like this, it's the same audience that the kids were watching back in two thousand six. They've all grown up into adults now. Yeah, right? so exactly. That, so now they have to cater to them, <coughs> right? Yeah. Okay. So to end this podcast, right? Last discussion. Right. Very last one. You just mentioned Michael. Okay. The group. Everybody. Me, Mike, uh, Gabe, yourself. Yeah. Have you kept up, everybody? No, whatever. only you, to be honest. Just me, Mike, Michael. Michael, I, I feel like he doesn't want to talk to me ever since, like, ever since I did a paper on him, like, and like he found out that I, he did a paper on me. Yeah. Gabe, I wish, I wish all the best. I, I haven't really kept up with him, to be honest, though. He's doing fine. He's he moved. Uh, yeah, yeah, he he moved to Sacramento, but then like he told me like he hates it here because it's so boring. Who? Gabe. He told you that. You told me that. He. I didn't say he hated it here because it's so boring. I, oh, I think you told me along the lines of that, actually. I'm maybe misquoting. No, it had nothing to do with that. He left for school. Oh, he left for school? Yeah. That's why I was like, boring. I, I didn't say that. <laughs> but he told me, like, oh, no, he, he like, he... he Did Gabe he, tell you that? If he told you that, then that's something I didn't know about. Or, no, I think you told me that because, like, you know, he, or no, he didn't hate it. It's like, it's boring out here. Oh, no, I said that. Yeah. I, I, I'm saying that it's good for Gabe that for him to go, um, going out here because in the Bay Area, there's not much. It's, very, it's kind of boring here. Oh. I, I'm saying that. Oh, okay, but no, no. But what I meant by that is like, like other than my vids, right? And you know, you know, Michael has his YouTube channel. Yeah, the, the Mike vlogs, right? Have you? Uh, you know, he he's mainly been doing a lot of um short things. shorts. Yeah, so I'm trying to I because you know there's TikTok, there's reels, there's shorts. So I'm trying to figure out the right way to say it. So shorts. Mm -hmm. I, have you seen his shorts? Not lately, no. Not lately? No. I I pretty much like stayed away from from him and his content to be honest. Oh, you don't like his content? Or... I mean, I mean, like it's not that I don't like his content. It's just like you know. It's just Michael. It's just Michael, to be honest. There's still tension between you two, huh? I'll be honest. Even even after the paper, I I thought I felt better about him. But it's like you know, like okay, Michael as a person, all right, no, no qualms with him. But Michael as a creator, I don't know. Are you? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna have to be honest here. Are you still upset because of how Michael went off on you? Because remember what he said. Uh, he didn't even he, he didn't even let me go in. Huh? He, he, you didn't speak up. <laughs> He, he he went in and didn't even give me a room to speak. Sorry, we're talking about something different now. When when he went on his rant, he, when you two had that confrontation, right? Yeah. He had the right to go on that rant because he was letting it all out. Yeah. But after he finished, you could have spoken up. I could have spoken up, but I was just a little, a little short, shell shock. They're like, damn, Michael? Yeah, me too. I'll be honest. i never seen Michael like that. Yeah, you know? I know. Like, it, was just, it, was just, it was just like, I was taking it back. Yeah. So yeah, but you know, Michael, look, I've got no problems with Michael, all right, as a person, as a creator, I feel like, you know, I, I've said again, I'll say it again, like he, you know, he's got a lot of potential, he just hasn't lived up to it, all right, I, I, may, be but, speak, but, I may be speaking like Triple H, right, like, what, oh, like God, 
He's trying, he's trying to be the villain here. Uh, let, let me ask. Okay, you say that because I can't just I can't just listen to that and just be like, okay. You say he has plenty of potential. Why do you say that? I believe that he's got a lot of experience that not a, a whole lot of people have in this lifetime. All right, in terms of you know creating videos and telling a story, he, like he can do that. But I feel like in this day and age, he needs to step up or step aside. Let me ask. Uh, what do you think he he should do? I, I, I asked that because, you know, for you to say that, okay, that's fine. I mean, you yeah, know, I say that about people all the time. Where's the why and, and most importantly, how? You know what? If he, if he really wants to, I don't know, for me... Because, you know, mainly his focus has been shorts. These days? A lot. You can go on his channel, he has like a lot of them. A lot of shorts. And they're fine. Uh, I have to be honest here. They're, they're fine for me. And the reason why they're fine is because, I, I and I told you, and I think you did see a few of them. You told me yourself. He likes to do voiceovers. Yeah, he does. Right? For me, have you seen my videos? My shorts? Not lately as well. Not lately? Yeah. I hate you. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. For, I was about to walk out just as, just as we're about to finish. I like to do shorts when it's me doing it. Right. Because as an actor, it's great to practice. And most importantly, it helps me work on things that I that I felt like, okay, I could have done that better. Or now I see how this looks like if I was to do it like in a movie or something, if I was to ever get casted. Right. Right? As an actor, I think shorts are a great, a, a great way to practice if it's comedy or if it's something serious. Mainly comedy. Yeah. Michael has improved somewhat with his content. I mean, I even told you a little while ago, he did a small short film. Yeah, he, yeah, he did, yeah. I'm just waiting for it to release now. But, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I, I'll be honest. Uh, I don't know if, he, if it's because he's waiting for that actor that's giving him a hard time. But personally, when it comes to Michael's shorts, I support my friend. He's told me that he likes to do shorts because that's what he likes to do. Okay, that's uh, good. And and that's cool. Uh, <laughs> I, I say that uh, just because, personally... I don't like the content. I don't like the content for numerous reasons. I'm, I'll, I'll be honest why. Because if you're going to share, I think it's fair for me to share. Okay. Right? When it comes to shorts, I don't like voiceovers. Because I find it incredibly annoying. Sometimes the voiceovers don't match what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about Michael. I've seen it for other people too. I think voiceovers can kind of be here and there. Mm -hmm. And then, not even that, when Michael does his voiceovers, sometimes he doesn't match it. And he's told me why either it's, it's, it's equipment again, or it, maybe he started late, or the audio just started be, before letting him know that it started. I've seen that a few times in his vids. Mm -hmm. The thing that I really don't like about his shorts is, is when he wears a mask. Every time he wears a Spider-Man mask, I fucking hate that shit. I'm sorry, bud. I, I, I hate that. I don't like it when he wears masks because I can't see his expression. I don't know what he's doing. I feel like he, he, him using a mask is like a, is a cheap way out. Maybe. And the only reason I say that, I think a mask is fine, but you know those digital masks? With the like the eyes that yeah. like flap, like those work because it's an expression, and then the body language kind of works. I see people do funny shit with it. I'm like, oh, I never thought of that. But when it comes down to the mask, like he wears a Spider-Man mask. Mm -hmm. There's no expression. It's just a Spider-Man. <laughs> it's just a Spider-Man mask. Yeah. So when he speaks or does something, or if he's mad, it's just a lot of. And I'm like, what the fuck? I don't. I don't. You really can't decipher what's. What, I, what, what, I what can't. He's, I can't get into the joke. Yeah, you know, and I'm only, and I'm I'm doing constructive criticism here. I'm not making fun of doing anything like that because I I did cringy shit on my videos too, by the way, especially yeah. in the beginning. So I'm just saying, like for Mike's, for him to improve, I would say, bud, just lay off mask. Yeah, uh, masks. If you're especially if you're trying to be an actor, does not help. I mean, people can't act with a mask, but you can't cover your full face. You know what I'm saying? Right. Especially if you're doing that constantly. Right. That's just where I, uh, that's where I'm coming in. But in any other videos he does, it's fine. Uh, he doesn't do vlogs as much anymore. I, I, I have a question. What do you, what do you think about his storytelling abilities? Can storytelling he, abilities? Like, what do you mean? Storytelling. Like, can he tell a story? Can he tell a compelling story? He did recently. Okay. With, with that short. You'll have to watch it. That's why I'm like, oh, like, when is he going to upload it? Because he said he was going to upload it on his channel. I wish all the best for Michael, to be honest, right? I mean, like, even though I, I throw shit at you, Michael, this is me directly talking to you. Look, I want nothing but the best for you, okay? Like, you know, and like what you want to do, with, you know, for your channel, all right? What do you think? You good? I, I, I'm, I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. But basically, yeah, we're gonna, me and my buddy Jules, we're gonna be going to a, a, a wrestling event pretty soon that has to do with WWE, but not on live TV though. But I'm still gonna re vlog it, I'm gonna record it, you know, for you guys. Um, you know, Julius, thank you so much for coming. We're about to go eat after, you know, hang out. And uh, honestly, we, we talked about a lot of cool things, some things that I didn't expect, I'll be honest. Like, I'm like I didn't expect that at all. Mm -hmm. But we did, you know, yeah. just because I, I don't know, to me, when you mentioned him, I was like, oh, there's something you wanna 
Say, I, 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 I mean, I, mean I, thought, I, I, I throw a lot of shade at Michael, and I, I won't say constructive criticism because some of it is like pure shade. It comes from a place of experience and love, I guess. I don't know. Doesn't sound like love, Julia. <laughs> tough, <laughs> love. Tough, <laughs> tough love. <laughs> the, the, tough brotherly. Oh, uh, if you want to say tough love, uh, sure. Brotherly. Uh, we, we could. We could. That, that's, <laughs> that's, that's debatable. It. Yeah. But uh, again, the only reason why I mention my criticism is because, you know, it ain't fair for me to bring you on and then you get all that heat. Like, yeah. I, I, I gotta be honest too. You know, it's my show. It's, you know, the podcast, right? So. I gotta, I gotta be real, also. You yeah. Know? Of and again, uh, we were only talking about what we said because it was to improve. Yeah. You know. And Michael, it's funny. He's done a few shorts, by the way. I just want, I just want to add this before we end this. Michael's done a few shorts without masks. It's not all a mask. All right. You know. And sometimes when he does it, he can't be funny. He can't. Right. He, he can't be. He really is. You know. Yeah, that's great. But other than that, though, verse. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Julius Palma, for coming back. Thank you know, you. looking forward to having you back again next time to talk about whatever. Next time we can definitely go into wrestling for sure. Oh yeah. Instead of just a, like a little bit like now. But all right then, verse. Well, that's it. Thank you, Julius, for coming. Every verse. If you like what you saw, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification for more content. As always, look forward to the to the next podcast. And with that said, have an awesome day, verse. Later.